my beautiful, lovely, powerful angels. How are you on this fine day? I hope we're all doing fantastic. We are back again with another manifesting video. I wanna talk about affirmations and how to actually make your affirmations work for you, how I make mine work for me, how you can actually get your manifestation completely through affirmations alone. Yes, you can do this. And basically just what I mean when I say affirm because it may not be what you think, especially if you're new at this. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I think I could clarify this a little bit just by saying right off the bat, what affirmations are not, or what I don't mean when I say affirm for your desires. I do not mean to put on a YouTube video that some random person is rattling off affirmations I am chosen, I am wanted, I am worthy, I am the best person walking this earth, I am a goddess queen, everything in the world is for me. Like, I, I don't want you to be sitting there and listening to somebody go off on like a hundred cookie cutter affirmations that don't really mean anything to you. Because those things, okay, yeah, they might help for like self-concept, especially if you're feeling down, it might lift you up in the moment but that's not affirming to get a desire. So if you're wanting something specific and I'm saying affirm for what you want, affirm for your desire, that doesn't mean like open a notebook and, and start listing all these affirmation. Like it's not like affirmations are your thoughts. Okay. Sorry. This is like a crick, rickety crickety stool. <laughs> affirmations are your thoughts. So what you need to do if you're wanting something is to change your thoughts around that topic. Changing your thoughts around a specific topic is just like drilling it into your subconscious. And then your subconscious will take that thought and create it out into your reality. So it's basically just telling yourself over and over and over and over what you want something to be, what you want a specific area of your life to look like, and then having your life conform through that. So when you're choosing your affirmations, it's important to one, put them in like a, a language that you already speak. So like, however you talk to yourself normally, use that and it can imprint a lot faster than if you're kind of like speaking in a way that doesn't really relate to you. Like, instead of saying like, I am chosen, I am wanted, like all these things that you wouldn't actually say about yourself, Maybe kind of change it to be like, of course I'm chosen. I am a badass bitch. I'm a badass bitch. I get everything I want. I'm a badass bitch. I get everything I want. That's how you would normally think. If that's, if that's how you would normally think, then that's how you should be talking to yourself in your affirmations. And then just looping that over and over and over and over. You need to believe that that is something that you actually think. So saying it in a way that you would actually say Say it in a way that you would like tell your best friend. So if you have a desire, say that in a way that you would be telling your best friend that you have this thing already. You don't have to come up with the perfect thing. You don't have to like sit there and affirm, say, say you're sitting there and affirming for like an SP and you're like, he loves me, he loves me, he's obsessed with me, he loves me. And then you're like, oh, oh my God, I just spent all day and I didn't even say his name once. Well, that just, that, that doesn't even count now. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like your subconscious knows that you're implying that this is this person. So you don't need to worry about like all those like little details like that. Like your subconscious knows you, okay? It knows what you're talking about. It knows what you want. That's why you can use like blanket affirmations like everything in my life is perfect. Wake up in the morning and fall asleep at night saying everything in my life is perfect and your life is going to go perfectly according to everything that would make your life perfect. That's why affirmations like that work differently for different people because different people have different ideas of what a perfect life is. If you know that like you want a specific person, you want a certain amount of income, you want a couple other desires, like say you want like, you need like five things and that would make your life feel perfect. So saying everything in my life is perfect is just a blanket way of not having to go through each individual thing and take longer to get what you want. All of these things will kind of start working at the same time for you. And even when you start seeing it 
maybe start looking the wrong way. Like maybe something comes up in your 3D that's telling you, or it's like kind of throwing it in your face that what you're affirming, like the opposite of what you're affirming is coming true. Keep persisting harder, even harder in that moment. Okay? Like don't just, oh no, now it's not working. Um, now I got to create another affirmation around that t topic and try and fix. Someone once said, you don't drive down the road and fix every pothole. Stick with one thing and just keep persisting with it, okay? Live in the end. Something that would insinuate that your desire is fulfilled. Like I said, something that you would tell your best friend or someone trusted that you already have what you want. If you want to be in a marriage with your specific person, living in the end of that is saying, I am in a loving, committed relationship with blank. And that is something that you would repeat over and over and over. So say that now your SP shows up like an asshole and he's not texting you all day. You're not going to sit there and fix up, pave up that pothole by now stopping that affirmation and now saying, SP texts me every day. SP texts me every day. SP loves to talk to me. Like we're not going to, we're not going to keep doing that. We're not going to fix every single problem that arises because if you are living in the end of I am in a loving, committed relationship with SP. It's kind of implied that it, yes, he is going to be text or she is going to be texting you, calling you every single day, all day, showering you with attention. It's a loving, committed relationship. Like why wouldn't you not be secure in something like that? So you're already insinuating that you're secure, you're happy, they text you all the time. Whatever your perfect view of a loving, committed relationship is, that's what you're gonna get by just saying those words. I think that Saying one or two affirmations around a subject is ideal because that's going to really imprint it into your brain. If you've heard of robotic affirming, it's when you choose something and you say it on a loop, on repeat, like a robot, and you're almost not really putting that much thought behind it. It's just kind of putting it into your subconscious so that it becomes a normal running part of your brain. So for example, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy. And then anytime you have an opposing thought pop up that isn't insinuating that you are, or anytime something comes up in your day-to-day -day life that is insinuating that you're not, say it again and again and again, especially when you're having those thoughts that negate that topic. It's very important to flip your thoughts and affirm through any negative circumstances. Just keep affirming through it. That is how you change it. That's how you change your assumptions around the topic and that's how you eventually end up getting your desire through persisting. Always continue to persist. No matter what life is throwing at you, you're just canceling out a belief that made you think this and put that in your reality in the first place. We don't wanna live in that anymore, but we've already been dwelling on it so that it's created into now. What is happening right now is just a direct reflection of your old thoughts and beliefs. You can change them. The only way to change the future is to start doing it now and stop dwelling in the now that you don't want. You're literally just choosing a different reality, a different version of you that you actually want to be and living as that person. Walking around, telling yourself, reaffirming to yourself that you are that person now, no matter what you see, continue affirming it, repeat it, live in it until it becomes a hardened fact. And when something like that doesn't seem to be working, you need to reassess your beliefs around that. Just you thinking this isn't working is you not believing that it's working. Why is this taking so long? is you reaffirming to yourself that you don't have that. So how are you going to get that when you're living in a state that you don't have it? You need to be living in the state where you already have it. Anytime you start telling that old story about not having something that you want, you literally just stop. Stop saying that. Stop thinking that. Stop having those conversations with your man or your girl in your head where you're telling them off about something when you should be 
believing that you're in a perfect, happy, loving, committed relationship. You can't sit there all day long and, or you don't even need to be doing it all day long. You only need to be doing it in a calm, relaxed state. Like when you're doing something, mono something, <laughs> something monotonous, like washing the dishes, um, putting on your makeup, it, anything like that where your mind is kind of relaxed and it starts to go into different, like in the shower, shower thoughts. Anytime you're in that state, that is when your subconscious is the most impressionable. It's also the most impressionable when you're falling asleep and 30 minutes after you wake up in the morning. Those are all of the times that that's when you need to be keeping your fucking thoughts <laughs> aligned with what you want. Like those are the times you need to be really focused on doing that and affirming. Not sitting there having all these like imaginary conversations or like made up scenarios, especially about something that you don't want to happen or like a state that you don't want to be in anymore. Instead of sitting there worried about money, 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 you need to be sitting there thinking, I have money, I have money, I have money. You can't waver. You can't go back and forth. You can't affirm for 15 minutes all of these 100 wealth affirmations from some that some random person gave you on a YouTube video. Feel good about it. And then 10 minutes later, call up your best friend and tell her, I'm so fucking broke. God, I don't have anything right now. I can't afford to go out. I can't afford this. Or you can't sit there and say, I'm in a loving, committed relationship before you fall asleep at night and when you wake up. And then your best friend says, hey, how's your relationship? Oh my God, this person is so shitty. They treat me so bad. Stop. If you don't believe you, who is going to? If you don't even believe what you're saying, how do you expect your sub, your higher self to create that into your world? Why would they do that when you clearly don't want it? Do you want it? Then stop. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> now, I'm saying not to consciously waver. I know there are times when we can have a down day. Sorry, my battery died. Uh, where was I? Oh, so say you miss a day of affirming, you are having doubts, or you like have a mental breakdown and cry all day. Here's a quiz. <laughs> Did you just ruin all of the progress that you've made? Yes or no? The correct answer is no, of course not. No, 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 no. Calm down, first of all, calm down. <laughs> and I'm addressing this specifically because I had a comment in my last video where somebody brought this up. You're making progress on something. Yes, you can fuck it up if you start dwelling too much, but just because you have an off day or just because you forget to do something this is like with like law of attraction when they're like telling, making all these rules. There's no rules. You are not messing anything up, okay? You are not messing anything up. You can't. It's all leading you to what you want. Messing something up and you're in the reality where you are God of your universe, that doesn't even make sense. God doesn't fuck up. <laughs> it's all about you. It's all about what you want in the end. Just keep going after what you want. The universe, it's not like sitting here judging if you did everything perfectly so that now you deserve to have what you want. It's all about your belief system. It's all at the end of the day. It is about what you want believe to be true? What are your assumptions? What are you assuming of everything in the world? Every person, every situ, what are you assuming? That's what you get. Affirmations are just a way to really drill in what you want and change your thoughts to get rid of old assumptions and bring in the new ones. It's just changing your thoughts around the specific assumption. So whatever you are telling yourself, if you fully believe it, fully believe that it's possible, 
I don't care what you've been walking around thinking is blocking you. There are no blocks. I don't care that you think you may not get a perfect relationship because your inner child isn't healed from a, your parents' fucked up marriage. You don't have to heal shit. <laughs> just change it. Just, just, just choose. Just choose. When you choose to be what you want to be, you are choosing a different version of you. And you immediately, in that second that you choose to be that, you are that. It, it's not even about things unfolding and you are now unfolding into living in the ideal reality that you want to be in. No, it is instant. That's why you can instantly manifest things. The only reason that you're not instantly manifesting constantly is because you don't think you can. You don't have to wait for the right timing. You don't have to wait. Divine timing. Divine timing. No, it doesn't exist. Instead of waiting for the right timing, decide that this is the time. Today is the day that things change. Today is the day that you get your manifesting. Decide that. And then don't, you have this wavering thought, oh, maybe it won't, maybe it happened, maybe it might happen, maybe it won't happen. Then you didn't decide. <laughs> when God announces reality, that is reality in that moment. God cannot be mocked. And you are God, by the way. When you announce something, it is true in that moment. When I say I am rich, I am stepping into the reality that I am rich right now. When you declare it, it is true in that moment. So declare it now. Today's the day. The moment is now. Get your shit now. <laughs> Let's all get our shit right now. Okay, I think that's about it for this video. I hope that made, I intend that this helped you. <laughs> Can't make that any simpler. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Let's talk it out. Let's figure your shit out together. And make sure to like and share and subscribe so that more people can find these videos. And I will see you guys very soon for the next one. Okay, bye.